Good evening and welcome to the start of the 2017 college football season from beautiful Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City, Utah. 2017 ready to go and Utah taking on the North Dakota Fighting Hawks. Utah's changed coordinators in offensive philosophy. They've also changed starting quarterbacks. What will it look like? We'll find out very soon. Tuntley to pass. Pressure coming. Stepping up. Throwing outside. Nearly intercepted. And it is. We had our slip-ups in the first half. I don't want to say sluggish or out of sync, but it just wasn't real smooth early on. We all got to just adjust at the beginning, and uh, we started playing from there. Huntley in the gun with Zach Moss. They're going to give it to Zach straight ahead. He's nope. Got, nope, Huntley's got it on the edge. 10-5. Touchdown! Oh, he fooled us all with the option play, and Tyler Huntley runs it in from 16 yards out for a touchdown. As the game went on, I thought things got smoother. Second trip into the red zone today for Tyler Huntley. Scrambling, looking, firing toward the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Touchdown, Darren Carrington! You know, we didn't go into the game thinking, hey, we're going to get Darren 10 catches for 100 and whatever yards, but, but when you're as talented as he is, and he's going to get open. And he was obviously Tyler's favorite target tonight. The punches are just rolling, and Coach Taylor was coming to me, and it felt great, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to take full advantage of every opportunity I get to step back on this field, because you never know when it could be gone. Huntley keeping it, diving to the end zone. Touchdown. A code red touchdown and a one-yard run from Tyler Huntley. Defensively, some real good things. Stud screwed to pass, throw over the middle, juggled it. Oh! Intercepted up the near sideline. We're known for uh, sacks and takeaways. We only got one of each tonight, so that's that's got to change. 2017 season, off to a good start. I mean, it's just getting started, uh, honestly. With Coach Taylor's offense, I think the doors are wide open. I think we're going to be a force to be reckoned with for sure. All right, let's start breaking down that offense. You know, I know it's an FCS opponent, but fans have a lot to be excited about with what they saw. Right, Troy Taylor coming in with a new debut of his offense, and you got to like what you see. Yeah, Tyler Hundley, I mean, this we see why he won the starting position, right? I mean, yeah. Troy Williams, him during camp, it was down to the wire. He's a, he's a dual-threat guy. He's an explosive quarterback, and he showed in this game. And let's get right to why he won the job, right? Everyone talked about, hey, he won the job because of his defeat. But he really won the job because of his arm and starting right out of the gate after an interception with a big throw. Yeah, and this is an interesting look. You got 22 personnel, two backs, two tight ends, which typically is a running type situation. But here you go with the drop back pass. And what I like here is you, you provide the sophomore with some protection. You, got, you keep everybody in, kind of max protection. But Hunley gets flushed out a little bit. He knows he's about to get popped. A young kid delivers a ball on a strike in the end zone. This is a beautiful thing. And what I like most about his composure in the pocket, he knows he's going to get hit, but he steps through his throw. He delivers the ball to Carrington to the only spot that he knows Carrington can get to on a comeback route to the pylon. No risk for interception. A great executed play, especially for a guy coming off an interception in his first start as a, as a, as a true sophomore. Yeah, and Troy Taylor really kind of mixing things up and getting him in rhythm, getting him in sync after that uh, you know slow start in that first Yeah, and, and hopping over to you know his, his feet, right? is you look at Tyler Huntley, right? His ability to stretch the field with his legs is, is the other part of why he won the job. But let's get into the big uglies. This offensive line, it continues with Harding with their run blocking schemes. Show us what we got. As a defender, this is very tough because you have this dual threat quarterback. You're going to have a zone read, but really, like you said, it starts with the big boys up front. You're going to have hat on a hat and guys winning their individual battles. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to see here on the left side, everyone's winning their battles. They've got helmet to helmet. And what does it do? It creates a lane right there for Hunley, and he, he exploits it. He hits it hard. He's going downhill. He's a fast, fast athletic guy. He's fun to watch. And you can, feel, you can feel his energy the way he plays the game. He plays every play like it's his last. He just infuses the offense with that type of energy that Troy Taylor <clears throat> likes, and that's why he won the job. Let's flip over to Zach Moss, right? You look at the dual threat ability of his feet. This opens up the run game for Zach Moss, who had over 100 yards rushing in the game. Let's get down to why this is being executed so well as well. Well, I like watching Zach Moss. He's a physical guy, but it all starts up front here. And, and you're going to watch the tackle and the guard. They're going to set as if it's a pass. And this is something that Utah continues to show throughout the first and second half where these pass sets. So what happens? The defenders think it is pass. They're going to rush up field, which does what? It widens the gap right there in that A gap between the center and the, and the guard. 
and there's a huge hole for Zach Moss to run through. Yeah, and as a defensive end or a linebacker, if you, you're reading your keys, right? You're reading your tackle to guard. If he does a pass set, you're going to run upfield, and that's where this is a, a little wrinkle that Troy Taylor enters, says, hey, I'm going to run an actual run play with a pass set, and it's just going to get guys out of position to create lanes for Zach Moss to be successful. And you got to like the offense of what Utah's throwing down.